An OU researcher is working on a way to turn old, abandoned oil and gas wells into geothermal wells. Now, the idea is to provide clean energy to businesses and homes. News on 6's Grant Stevens joins us now to explain how it works. Grant? Brian Lori, there's a lot of heat trapped deep in the ground, and if you can bring it to the surface, it can be used to heat up water in buildings. Researchers believe existing oil wells could be the key. There are thousands of oil derricks dotting the Oklahoma horizon, but when the wells they're attached to run dry, there's really no use for them. Dr. Saeed Salihi hopes to change that. Convert them to producing heat for geothermal applications. Dr. Salihi is a researcher for the University of Oklahoma working on a test project to convert four abandoned wells into geothermal energy sites for three schools in Tuttle. Potential for producing enough energy for those three end users and maybe more. He says oil and gas wells aren't quite as hot or deep as a traditional geothermal well. So while they may not be useful for producing electricity, they're a stable source of heat for water lines. Using electricity to, again, you know, uh, produce heat, it's a lot of energy is wasted, you know, in the conversion. So, so why not just take the heat and directly use it for, for heating? There are more than 2 million abandoned wells across the U.S. And many of these wells are close to many of the end users. They are, they are in proximity of the churches. They are in proximity of schools, farms, factories. Salihi says many wells won't work for conversion, but using even a fraction of them can make a big difference. You know, at the end of the day, we have to look at this as another source of energy. It's not going to be a silver bullet to solve, let's say, everything, but it's just going to be another box as an option. Dr. Salihi hopes to have the four test wells operational by this summer at the latest early fall. Grant Stevens, Oklahoma's own News on 6.